What's going on, guys? It's New603, and right. joining me today is right. Fake Filler. What's going on? And we're back. It's the Game Speak. This is episode five, and uh, again, it's Game Speak 2.0. It's a revised version. It's just myself and Fake Filler, where we kind of condensed it from the original Game Speak. Original Game Speak had four of us. It was myself, Fake Filler, In the Works Media, and Epona. But it was taking up a lot of time, and while we do miss it, it was one of those we only have so much time during the week. We had to do a condensed version so we could continue to do it. And format change. It was a live streamed podcast. Now it's a previously recorded audio show. This is true. And uh, it's one of those things we actually really look forward to doing because it allows us to tackle a broader range of topics. Um, you know, kind of go over things a little more in depth, uh, less analytical, more opinion based. Depends on the topic. But. So anyway, what happened? Where did it go? Well, I took a break for pretty much the entire month of July. I just got to like a breaking point in my head where I was stressed out over the channel and everything, and I needed a break. So I did explain this in a Snoob's Back video I, I did last week. So in case you missed it, there's the explanation as to where it went. Uh, it didn't make sense for me to even do just this one video a week because then it kind of defeated the purpose of taking a break from the channel. I, I did it on a fake thriller suggestion being you know we've been doing this for about three and a half years and i had yet to actually take an official break and it was about time because i was getting stressed and battlefield 4 was coming up he was being a real prat i know so speaking <laughs> about battlefield 4 that is one of the big topics we're going to talk about so the, the the three topics we're going to cover in today's episode is first and foremost our plans for battlefield 4 what exactly are our plans for the channels surrounding battlefield 4 we brought this up several times in other videos and we intend on bringing it up several more times can't tell you how many comments I see on a daily basis from random subscribers saying, Shoosty Bang, what are you guys doing for Battlefield 4? So, if it sounds like a broken record, you're hearing it in a lot of videos, that's by design. We want as many people that may not necessarily watch every single video have the opportunity to hear what the hell we're going to do. Number two we're going to cover is general idea of what we're doing for the channel as far as upload schedule, content, the whole nine yards leading up to the release of Battlefield 4. And I promise you guys, you want to stick around for the end of this video. We have something huge we're kind of announcing because it's not 100% nailed down. But we can give you an idea of what's going to happen, again, leading up to Battlefield 4. Uh, specifically, the last month of leading up to Battlefield 4. Right up to the very day before release. So without further ado, let's get to topic number one. What are our plans for Battlefield 4? Really simple. Everything that you guys love that we did for Battlefield 3, we're going to do again for Battlefield 4. That's what I was going to say. I thought you were going to have more of an explanation. I was going to say, if you want to see what we are going to do, go back to October 26, 2011 on our channel and then see all the videos that came in after that. Right, um, for the next year and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except, to be honest, it'll be a lot better because it's going to be way more refined. And I'm almost ashamed to admit this, but I think if you go back to that, that point in time, there's still like Modern Warfare 3 mingled in there. Right, and it, you know that's it, you know who cares? Game's a game. Play what you yeah, want and what you like. I, mean, I know. I, think, I know. Well, no, no, I'm not saying it to you. I'm saying in general because I know some people are gonna be like, ha ha, cod faggots. But uh, <laughs> it's it's one of those. I mean, if you're having fun playing a game, who gives a shit? I mean, I think we're all in agreement that overall, Battlefield Three is a better experience um, and there's a better built game than Call of Duty. But that's not the point of this commentary. That's just my opinion. What Comment you... section destroyed Battlefield <laughs> versus Call of Duty. <laughs> Um, the, the huge difference between going into Battlefield 4 compared to Battlefield 3, and I'm sure you'll agree, is the fact that we have a much, much better and stronger focus, a more centralized focus on what we're tackling compared to last time. You know, for those that have been subscribed to us for that entire time, leading up to the release of Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 4, we had never really been in the Battlefield franchise before that. We dabbled a little bit in Bad Company 2, but for the most part, we were COD players. And then, you know, we saw the release of Battlefield 3 coming up and like, damn, that, that game looks good. And we actually did a lot of commentaries where we were like, we have no fucking idea what we're going to do when these games come out because we've always been COD players. We know exactly where we're getting. But on the other hand, we see this really fucking awesome game that's coming up. It just looks fantastic and it has our attention. And it could very well, you know, completely take over for us. So then, yeah, Battlefield 3 came out. It proved to be the better game and the more engaging game. So we put our time into it. But it still took us hours and hours and days and weeks before we were really confident to get into full gear when it comes to making video content and presenting it properly. you got to have a certain level of confidence when you deliver YouTube videos to people. They don't want noobs telling them what to do. So I think, I think we're going to hit the ground running with Battlefield 4 way better than we ever did with Battlefield 3. Exactly, because we have a very... I mean, we, we have... 
We, when I say this, I don't mean like compared to everybody, but we have the best idea about Battlefield 4 moving forward because we have all the experience. We, we have two years of experience with Battlefield 3, and we're moving into the you know the the sequel to Battlefield 3. It's not like a a Battlefield company, uh, Bad Company 3, where it's a sequel of a different game we haven't been playing. It's the direct sequel to what we've been doing the past two years, and there there are a lot of changes, but at the same time, it's like nothing huge moving into the next title or the next iteration of Battlefield. So, I I know that from day one of covering Battlefield 4 from day of release, it's going to be tenfold better compared to what we were doing for day one release of Battlefield 3. It's such an exciting time. It is, and you know, it's one of those, you know, it's kind of like you said, um, it, we don't need to really get all, all that elaborate as to what we're going to be doing except to say that whatever you saw we were doing in Battlefield 3, we're going to be doing the exact same for Battlefield 4, but it would be more condensed in the sense of, you know, if you look back at the timeline of our videos, like, we kind of started doing, like, one thing really well at first, and then we dabbled in another thing, and then, like, we started doing the video weapon reviews, and it was just kind of like, like a little series, and then another little series, and then another little series, and they're all good ideas, but we, we kind of had them spread out, and it was, like, sequential. It was like, okay, we'll, we'll do A for a couple months, and then we'll do B for a couple months, we're not going to have that this time. We know exactly what we di really did enjoy and what we feel we executed very, very well. And we, we remember things that we're like, okay, well, it was a good idea, but eh, we weren't really into it. And we didn't execute it the way we want to, so we're not going to we're not gonna do it. So, you know, some of the things you can count on, like Golf Squad Chronicles, that's going to be back. That's one of our favorite series because I love it. You know, everyone knows we're big on team gameplay and everything. And we like to play tactically. We like to PTFO like pretty much the entire time. I think the yeah, I think the Golf Squad Chronicles is probably going to be one of the best series that we have, even above like some of our our post editing like produced content, because it's it's pure gameplay, right? Where and we're going to be showcasing like nothing but the game, whereas other things might be us talking about the game, but there's not there's no substitute for actually playing the game. Yeah, and exactly. The Golf Squad is just going to be like, wham, bam. Thank right. you, ma'am. And we, hey, we were one of the original people to be doing this. You know, a lot of people every time, especially in the past year, when we uploaded like a team live com, because after kind of Golf Squad went away, when Veggie it. decided to focus all of his efforts on uh, medical school in the last year that he was in it, nice. and he kind of dropped yeah. that of gaming, which so totally well. respect that decision by all means. Um, he, uh, it, it was kind of like you saw a lot of these comments like, "Oh, dude, you you, you guys play with level cap? Like you do this squad up series when." I have to giggle myself because no disrespect to Level Cap, but we were doing the Golf Squad before he started doing the squad ups, and ours. No offense, I think ours was better because we were doing the multi point of view thing from day one. Slight disclaimer: anybody can make any videos that they want. We're not. Right. We're not claiming rights to anything. We're just no. saying we know what we're doing. Right, and it's one of the, I, it, it's. It never chapped me or rubbed me the wrong way. But at the same time, I I, I slightly yeah. bristled like, oh, man, why don't we get credit for being like the first guys to do it? Like. Taking nothing away from level cap, the guy's good. Like everything, all the content he puts out is fantastic. He's a nice guy. We we've interacted with him with um, him a couple times in the past. Um, it's just one of those like, can we get some recognition for doing something first, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, th there's that. Um, the weapon reviews will definitely commence. Exactly when that happens, we're not sure. We brought this up before. It all depends on what we see in the beta what we get to see for the notes of what's going to change for the game's release. Like, we're going to get them out as soon as possible, but we need to have an idea of not only how one gun works, but how it compares to the other guns within its class. And without having a, a solid grasp on that, I feel like any review that you see before that is going to be really weak. I mean, yeah, there are going to be... Don't trust any, re any weapon reviews that you find in the first... Um, I don't want to give numbers, but use your head when when you click on that first weapon review and say, how long has this been ha has this game been out, and how long has this gun been available to these players that are reviewing it? Because it's a review. It's not. Uh, I mean, you can do initial impressions and stuff like that, but if you're reviewing a gun, you need to have full context on what you're talking about. And so we're gonna wait until we understand what we're talking about before we make weapon review videos. Right, and we're not saying that to like kind of subconsciously dissuade you from watching other people's reviews it's just we feel really strongly about this because just as a viewer ourselves that's how i'm gonna go into it because i do watch a lot of other battlefield videos granted nobody near as much as i watch say starcraft content because i find that uh, a lot more interesting as someone who doesn't really know what's going on whereas battlefield 3 i feel like i have a really good idea so i, I tend not to watch that kind of content as much as i would again starcraft 
Um, but you know, it's one of those. Kind of use common sense when it comes to it. It's one of those if. If it's a, a gun that was patched and someone's doing a review inside of the first week that the game's out, you might want to hesitate to kind of take what they're saying to heart because, and especially if it's a full blown review, like I'm speaking with 100% confidence, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, because here. the game came out in a week. I mean, maybe if he, the guy happened to put in like 60 hours on the game in that first week, okay. Maybe. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't want to say don't watch anything for a month and don't watch anything until someone's got 100 hours into the game because that's not fair. Because you don't know what people are actually doing. Someone could go boss the wall with the first assault rifle you have available, and I guess they could know what they're talking about. But right, it's one of those things. Just take things with a grain of salt when Battlefield 4 first comes out. Right, there is the possibility that with the guns we'll be able to get to use in beta, depending on how long the beta is. I mean, I don't know. Let's just for, I'll, I'll throw out a gun out there because I, off the top of my head, I can't remember what's going to be in there. Let's say we get the M4 during the beta. It's one of the first guns we had to use, and we know all the stats from it by the end of the beta. Say we get two weeks and we use nothing but that gun, and then day one of release, we know that nothing has changed from that gun. It is operating exactly as it did in the beta. We could theoretically put a review out on that weapon by the end of the first week the game's out. Yeah, that's three weeks of using a gun. Yeah, we could have like 60 hours into the game of using one gun almost exclusively and then using all the other guns in the class for like, you know, that first week that has been out and like, okay, well actually we, we really know what we're doing with this gun. There's that, there's that possibility. I don't see it's happening. Um, I'd like to think that they'll have their shit together as far as weapon balance goes by the time that the, uh, the beta is up. But, I don't know. Who knows? So that's enough of that. And then one of the other series I'm definitely bringing back as soon as possible is the Rush Tactics series. I did two videos on it. It came out very late. But they actually did really, really well considering how late I did them. And, of course, we'll be doing our general review, um, you know, tips and stuff that we've always done. Breaking down things. For the absolute noob players, but then also doing some more advanced tactics for people that are trying to step their game up and think about the game a little more abstractly. What about Weapon Request Live? Yes, that will come back, but you guys got to give me a little time because I'd like to unlock some stuff. It's one of those early on. Got one of them. I could... Two of them. I, I'm going to be playing this so much more uh, than I was Battlefield 3, you know, like the past couple months. There. Yeah, it's middle of summer. I'm not going to put that much time into it. Whereas yeah, if, Battlefield 4 comes out, it's middle of winter. I, I guess it, to do. <laughs> I guess a good example too is like where they got to give you a little bit of time is if when Battlefield 3 first came out, if you were doing Weapon Request Live, and they uh, they wanted you to do like the AS Valve, but you're only like level 30 or something like that. You don't even have the gun yet, you know? Right. You gotta you gotta have time to unlock the guns and then unlock the attachments that everybody's gonna want. So exactly. But you know what I could do is I could. I could start with the first intro video and say, okay, this is what we're going to do. I am at rank so-so. So here's a website that shows you what guns I have unlocked up to that point. Pick from that. And then after the, you know, when I, I record that episode at the end, you'll say, okay, now I'm rank this. And these are the range of guns I can use. So go ahead and pick from that for the next episode. I could do that, but honestly, it probably won't start till at least a month into the game. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we can move into step two. And then, I mean, well, it's not pretty much it, because whatever the hell happens to catch our fancy um, during this whole process, like, we have all these video series that we've already done with Battlefield 3 that we're looking to reinvigorate for Battlefield 4, but who the hell knows what Battlefield 4 is going to bring overall, so there could be a whole new menu when it comes to, you know, Christmas time. You this never is know. True. This you is never true. know. Okay, so the next up, um, part two. General idea of the channel, what we're going to be doing as far as content and upload schedule leading up to Battlefield 4. Um, one of the things that we were talking about was, you know, if Chris can do one video a week and I can do one video a week solo, that's cool. We got two videos a week, probably like a Monday, Wednesday. Chris will have Monday, I'll have Wednesday, or vice versa. Doesn't matter. There's, that's not set in stone. It's just whatever, who can do whatever. Um, Fridays, I'm going to continue to try and upload these team live comps because I have a rather large backlog of some really good team gameplay. And I figure, you know, you guys, not a lot of you enjoy it, but enough of you enjoy it that I can justify throwing that up on Friday. And then we're going to continue to do game speak on Saturday. If we happen to have something else extra that we're going to throw up, it'll happen. Otherwise, yeah, just expect the three to four videos a week. Um, I do actually have, during that break, I wasn't completely idle. I came up with a bunch of different topics related to Battlefield 3 that I do want to cover still. And I'm actually looking at them right now. I, I have like about a dozen commentaries I can do between now and then. So there will be no shortage of Battlefield specific commentaries I have coming up. And then 
getting closer to the launch of Battlefield 4, we have some enormous plans. And it's tough because we don't want to go into super specifics right now. Uh, but we have this grand idea of daily uploads that is really going to cover everything that you could ever want us to talk about and then go even further when it comes to community interaction. I don't know if I'm stepping on any lines right now. No, I do think we can be specific as to what we mean by daily uploads. Um, we're going to do a countdown. Essentially, it's a 30-day countdown to Battlefield 4. We actually did something like this leading up to one of the Call of Duty games. I think it was Black Ops, actually. But now I'm having trouble remembering because that was a <laughs> while ago. Basically, it's going to be for the... 30 days leading up to the launch of Battlefield 4, we are planning on uploading a daily video. And uh, it's basically a celebration. We're going to be talking Battlefield 3. We're going to be talking Battlefield 4. And yeah, there's stuff that's going to be going on, but you guys don't know about it yet. Right. We, um, we'll say that there are three things involved and we've got one like 90 percent confirmed still waiting to hear back from number two and i'm feeling pretty good about that and if that happens there's no reason why number three won't work just oh, yeah i wish we could tell you guys more <laughs> but you're, you're just gonna have to wait because like it, the implications of what it means for you our subscribers is fucking astronomical <laughs> it really is like Ah, I, I'm just so excited for it, and I wish I could tell you guys, but we have to wait. So it's we're something I don't up the hype around it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know everything that's ever happened on YouTube, but I don't think anything this grand. If if everything comes through, I don't think anything this grand has ever really happened. No, and that's the thing. Like what what we have in the works, and and no, that's not a fucking hint about Jake in the works media. <laughs> he could change his fucking name. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it, it's it is really something truly unique, and it's kind of like a, it's damn near a once in a lifetime thing. And the cool thing is, if it all works out and everything, we could actually I could actually see this becoming kind of like a blueprint for things happening in the future for other channels. Yeah, there's so, so many there's so many great things about it, but we'll we'll talk about it more once we I think can give you guys actual details. Right, and I'm really honestly hoping that episode six next week's episode of game speak we can tell you a lot more explicit details because we're coming up close to this 30 days to battlefield 4 series we're going to be doing and uh it, we're going to do an intro video and then the 30 days so count the the day before the launch of battlefield 4 count back 31 days that's when it all starts um we have to have everything like set in stone at least a week before that series starts so we're kind of running out of time here we've got about six weeks left to get all of this done and i think we can make it happen so but uh before we wrap it up just to kind of give you an idea a little more explicitly about what the videos are going to be about we're going to be talking about pretty much every single aspect of battlefield 3 and some topics are going to be like pretty specific where we're covering like one really specific avenue and then other videos could be you know kind of condensing several points of a larger broader subject but you know they're all related to one another and then as much like Battlefield 4 only videos that we can do and right now I think we only have four topics covered we were you know specific to Battlefield 4 but that's going to change because there's not a whole lot of information that we haven't already covered that we want to cover during this 30 day thing once we get closer to the beta that's going to open up a whole fucking can of worms and I mean that could give us enough information worth talking about for the 30 days so that, that gives you an idea of what we have going it's going to be very comprehensive um we're stoked about it because it, it, it's kind of like rebuilding the hype and building up the name again and getting our name back out there leading up to battlefield 4 and just mainly focusing on the excitement and engaging conversation about battlefield 4 and how freaking awesome the game looks it's it's gonna be pretty awesome so we're, we're gonna stop rambling about things that we can't tell you about and i think we're gonna call this episode to an end Yes, uh, we, we've covered enough. It's about 20 minutes. That's what we like to keep it at. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you stuck it out. Uh, you know, I like doing these secret messages. We need to give a secret message for people to leave a comment on for them made it all the way to the end. No. All right, I have a perfect one. How about you write, Daddy, 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 because that's what my daughter is screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I like that. People are gonna be so confused when they see the comments. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, it'll just cause like complete mayhem. Yeah. So. so, all right, guys, thank you for watching. If you could do us a favor, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the commentary and share it with your friends, please. Like. We're trying, again, kind of let people know we're, like, back in action, like, solely on Battlefield 3. Even though we never abandoned it, people abandoned us, and that gives me a sad. So, if you could help share the video, we greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys later. Later.